Hello, welcome to another tunnelless landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence. I'm Francis McCarthy, and maybe you're wondering where I've been. Uh, before I tell you, let me tell you what we're doing today. Uh, I did put up most of this um, painting process, oh my goodness, a while back. I was like, you know, uh, 2019 so I don't know when but in there you know and it's me doing an NS painting and I finished it up over our little uh, you know lockdown here in New Zealand probably in March or so um, and I've been meaning to put that little finish up so what I thought I'd do instead was give you the entire uh, original video sped up and then the um, the bit at the end will you'll see where I'm putting on the finishing touches and then uh, we'll just label this finish so where's Mike Ben well I live in Northland New Zealand which is you know very far from everywhere um, generally pretty temperate um, we've had some wild wild weather and uh, pretty much vi biblical proportion storms and um, a lot of flooding in this town where I live, which is Whangarei in Northland, New Zealand. Um, and my studio got flooded. It, I, about, I'd say, maybe a foot to a foot and a half of mud and water got in there. We lost a few paintings. We could have lost more. I mean, I'm still smiling or whatever, but um, I'll tell you one thing. And uh, HA33, uh, you're right about that MDF. I ain't painting on that no more. Uh, I gave gave away, I got rid of all my MDF boards because everything else that I paint on survived. The ply, the hardboard did extremely well. Um, so I'm moving over to hardboard exclusively, which is referred to as masonite in the States. I just want to get that out of the way. Now, I mean, the lady uh, in the studio next door, she lost a bunch of drawings on paper. So what's the difference between MDF and paper? Not a lot. I mean, neither one's going to do well with any exposure to water, but uh, maybe it's vanity on my part, but uh, I like to think that I'm creating things that are permanent and that can, um, you know, survive a little water. Well, actually, it was more than a little water. It was a lot of water. Uh, so that's where I've been. I've been cleaning up, and um, like I said, most of the best things I have were up on the wall. I uh, currently have a dehumidifier going in there, and uh, I had a very nice Asian uh, rug uh, that uh, I'm, I'm doing my best to try and dry out, but the weather here has just been very wet, very humid, so that's been a challenge. Um, and of course I can't get a steam cleaner on the phone because we've had rampant flooding in this town, so um, I'm a pretty small fry. I'm sure they have a waiting list as long as my arm, um, but I'm working on it. and. Um, that's uh that's material things that's material life and it's been tough uh, and as an ode to the uh, flood um, there is a song I did back in I want to say 2006 uh, called river and it's about a flood uh, that'll be at the end of the video and I know this kind of um, it probably helps to decrease the viewership of the videos because the video appears to be longer than it is. But if you're not into it, it's going to be a typical 15 minute video and uh, with a little song at the end, um, just as a uh, <laughs> just as an ode to the flood. Yeah. Anyway, other than that, yeah, I haven't been painting. I've been um, cleaning up, you know, and. Uh, I hear the rain going right now, actually. We're all, you know, the funny thing is, in the summer here, we had a uh, uh, a pretty, uh, well, by New Zealand, by Northland standards, a severe drought. By where I come from originally, which is California, by California standards, it was no drought at all. But uh, whatever. There's a lot of dairy farming and things like that to go on here, and those guys rely on regular in fact it rains in the summer here not not as much as the winter but you know very little rain this summer in fact i really enjoyed that since you know, like i said i'm from california um so do i have uh you like oh that's great slice of life mike well yeah it's an update slice of life video i i do have some insights for you though um don't paint on mdf if you want to paint things that are going to survive floods some of them did okay 
um, the ones where, where I had a laminate on top of the MDF did better for the most part although there are some of those that uh, didn't make it either and um, yeah I just had things on uh, boxes on the floor that people could kind of go through uh, you know and you'd be surprised how many people will do that um, you know or uh, it, not that I've seen a lot of tourism it is our um, our downtime year and we have of course the uh, the worldwide uh, pandemic and stuff to that everyone's dealing with as well so uh, it's been a quite a year hey you know um, but you know that's the other thing I guess we could just go veering off into some philosophy I mean one thing's consistent about all of us have different personality types and and, and d in a in a large way different goals I mean we all need love and shelter and food you know and things like that um, but we all have different goals and different agendas um, and, and we all deal with the things that happen uh, in different ways but uh, one consistent thing about life is that um, things happen and we have to deal with it and I am a big believer in trying to deal with um, the, the well the, the good things it's not hard to deal with at all is it you just hope they keep going they hope you hope they keep coming um, the the bad things you know the, I, I think it's good to try and deal with it with with grace you know if you can and I'm not really like a, a religious person but I think the concept of grace is very valuable which just means you don't get too keyed up on things especially in my view material things since all material things seem to rise and fall and come and go um, are built and then destroyed etc uh, in fact I'm talking about moving off of MDF but um, painting on hardboard won't protect my painting from a fire will it you know so there really is no absolutely permanent substrate that said I'd heard the word, um, um, and like I say, uh, um, HA33, uh, I think you said you used to work in a, a place that, that made that stuff. It, it, it is actually very lovely to paint on, I really enjoy, but um, I had been uh, making a shift towards hardboard for most of the last year. Um, and I had quite a lot of MDF boards around and was working on them. Um, passed them on and some other painter grabbed them and I was like, okay do what you like but uh, uh, if you know you can paint on something a little more permanent so they also the other thing that survived pretty well was uh, most of my five by sevens are on ply and um, that did great the the thing is the the ply is a as a pine and um, now I can get marine ply with a uh, um, a tougher boards like uh, there's a Fijian cowrie and it's fairly expensive but it comes to me already pre-warped <laughs> so whereas like some of the hardboard might have subtle bow in one direction or the other but that's not a big deal you know it's just it doesn't have all this in in inner tension like the uh, the ply does and I think the ply is pretty much designed to be nailed onto something you know it's not not, at least the marine ply is not a great uh, substrate uh, uh, well it's pleasant to paint, paint on but I got out of the marine ply when I started uh, shipping a lot of things around the world um, because I didn't really want to ship somebody something that was sort of pre-warped and the, the other th the thing is too you know you fasten it into a frame it doesn't even matter but uh, you know I, I, a lot of things I was shipping at that time weren't framed uh, most of the things I ship now are framed. If you buy something from my store and I, I can find a frame for it, I will usually uh, pop a frame on. Uh, speaking of, there are uh, now I've made sure and removed some of these works that are damaged uh, from the store. Some of them were in the store. Um, a couple look like they have stabilized and they're going to be fine. Um, and I might be popping those back. But um, uh, my store does have a lot of new things in it and. Um, prior to this, uh, you know, disaster, I was planning on uh, doing some photography and, and getting even more things in there. And that is uh, on the agenda over the next few weeks. So if you haven't been to my site, tip on over there, Landscape Painter Cohen Z, 
and that would be a great time to buy a painting. <laughs> but, you know, don't feel like you got to, because, uh, you know, I appreciate you just, uh, actually, here we are, we're probably 10 minutes in, so uh, most of the f uh, fly by night, um, it's not fly by, oh, fair weather, most of the fair weather viewers have already bailed, so, um, yeah, and there's some pretty, pretty awesome paintings in there, I was just going through there the other day, just making sure that I didn't have anything there that, uh, was was damaged um, and what I'm going to do with some of these damaged paintings I'm not sure there's actually been some uh, supporters of the channel that uh, I may they're damaged but they still look uh, you know they still look uh, decent I just not the not at a level where I would um, you know want to sell them and um, uh, have have somebody receive it and say well I don't particularly care for this you know imperfection um, and it could be me. I, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but uh, I'm probably going to disperse some of those to friends and um, uh, friends of the channel, possibly as well. There's a few people that uh, have uh, been very generous with donations and uh, other types of support. And I like buying paintings and things. And um, you know, I was thinking, well, that might be a good thing to do because um, they're still pretty beautiful. They're just not absolutely perfect so we'll see um, anyway it, there is no permanent substrate there is nothing permanent in life and it, as a matter of fact I mean I think you know uh, my personality type um, I'm an INFJ uh, in case you were interested and uh, for those of you that even follow the the Myers-Briggs system um, fairly rare type of personality but um, most of us are, uh, and there's a lot of different types of people in that, uh, personality just means the inclinations to perceive and, uh, um, work in the world in a similar manner. It doesn't mean we're all the same type of people exactly. Um, but one thing we tend to have in common is a lot of us are concerned with legacy and that's one of the reasons why I got out of commercial art and started getting into fine arts because I didn't want to spend hour after hour uh, putting um, immense amounts of energy into something that was disposable and impermanent. Um, one of the reasons that I became a painter, an oil painter, and specifically a landscape painter, was um, that I'm very interested in legacy. I'm interested in leaving something behind. And this has, you know, been a drive of uh, human artists well, I don't know if there are any, any other kind of artists, <laughs> which is the artists, uh, a lot of artists. Um, since, you know, we have these hand, uh, these hand prints on the cave walls in France and things, or, or they put their hand up the wall and they spray or blow paint around it. Um, and that's, you know, hundreds of, uh, not hundreds, probably uh, tens of thousands of years old, some of those things. And they've left, the, left a mark, they left something there. Um, that we as future humans come along and go, whoa, wow, they, some, someone was here. And uh, we can even tell a certain bit about their lives and what they cared about. And um, that to me is one of the most fascinating aspects of painting. I feel like it's not only um, a way to broadcast an image in a very permanent sort of way, as long as the painting is taken care of and not uh, the victim of a fl <laughs> flood. No. A flood or a fire. Sorry, that was my dog. Uh, here, th they don't want to hear you. Yeah, that's a, the the guy picking up the trash out there. Oh, anyway, diatribe. I've got to wind it up because the video's over. And uh, after this will be my song about uh, the river and how we love the river, but we don't want it to come up to the door. So until I come back with another video, which hopefully will be real soon, please. Take good care and stay out of trouble. <coughs>